became a part of my character. Solomon wrote, uh, they say Solomon wrote this, and because I have such confidence in King James Version being inspired by the word of God, I have come up a lot of, on a lot of research that have been done <coughs> on the structure of the Bible, even in numerical sequences, and how they all fall in line. So it had to be designed and inspired. No one, because these books were written over hundreds of thousands of years, Amen. so it could have been done by chance. It had to be orchestrated by the Creator. At one time, people didn't believe in the authenticity, authenticity of the King James Version, and as being the authorized Word of God. There's a compilation of books that someone put together for me and told us that it was God's word. But they discovered that they had ceased to. So a little boy threw a stone into a cave and heard a jaw break. They went in and found all these scriptures hidden in jaws. A lot of stuff that's in there has not been revealed to the public, but a lot has. And those manuscripts or uh, scrolls had the Word of God in it, Daniel, Isaiah, many books, and they coincide to what's in the King James Version. Now, there are a lot of people that want to spout the value of these new translations. But they have not studied the new translation, the lot of the Greek and the Hebrew, alongside the King James, to see which one was closer. Amen. Amen. But because it fit their agenda, they promote it. And I have discovered that the King James is closer to the original text than any new translation. Amen. So I consider a lot of these new translations, like the words, not translations, but interpretations. Man's opinion on what God said. And that being said, I want to read to you out of Proverbs, beginning the first chapter. And if we don't get into my lesson, this is a good teaching. That's written right here without me having to elaborate on it. But there are some, and I'm going to, as I get to that, those verses that God enlightened, that jumped off the page and grabbed and made me realize just how much they had become a part of my life. I'll stop and, and make mention. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to receive the words of understanding. Semicolon. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. Who do not want to know about justice, judgment, and equity? And actually, in that text, he tells you you don't want to know. But there are a lot of people sitting up in the house of God having the 66 books of God reveal will. Don't want to study it. But continue to talk about they hear the voice of God. How do you know? How do you know that God talking to you? How do you know that not? And see, this is the thing that have, have hurt us in, in Christendom. In some circles, they have been taught that you don't have no spirit until you get born again and you got the Holy Spirit. So they are teaching that the Holy Spirit is God's spirit, which is totally erroneous and against the teaching of the scripture and you can go to almost any religion in the world and they will reveal to you in their teaching that there are other spirits. Amen. But the Bible is enough for us. We don't need to go anywhere else. Amen. The devil is a spirit. Amen. Demons are spirits. Amen. But yet, some preachers, some uh, organizations have brainwashed their people to believe that 
They have no other spirit but God's spirit. Man has a spirit. The Bible actually says in the 20th chapter book of Proverbs, I mean, what, that the spirit of man is the candlestick of the Lord, searching the inward parts of the belly. The spirit of man. Then he clicks the ass, he talks about it when man dies, his spirit goes back to God who gave it. And then in James, the second chapter, it said, without the spirit, man's body is dead. So man is a spirit being. You know, and then you got demons, and then you got God. Those are my. But yet people have been taught it's not so. And so it causes them to stumble in darkness. And they end up with spirits that reject the word of God rather than hunger and thirst for it. So he said to receive instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. Who does not want to know about judgment, justice, and equity? To give substance to the simple and to the young man knowledge and discretion. So, so we see them void of <laughs> these things. And you can understand why. Yeah. Amen. Because they don't have a desire for wisdom. Mm. A wise man will hear. Are y'all hearing this? Amen. They don't want to listen. They don't want to be told anything. And will increase learning. And as I was as, as I was reminded by God of this, I embraced that wholeheartedly. When I heard the gospel preached, mm -hmm. I think about the sixth chapter of Hebrews, the twelfth verse: "Be not slow, but follow them those who, through faith and patience, have the promise." So I started following. Amen. Amen. People said I was kissing my. Pastor behind, but it didn't matter to me. He was a man of God. He said, Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You get what I'm saying? Amen. But yet, a lot of people rejected that and looked at them. Jesus said, The word that I speak, the word that I speak. So, why would we hunger for his word when he said, The word that I speak are spirit and they are life? Hello? Amen. So, if his word is spirit and life, if I want to have life, Praise. And if I really want the Spirit of God, why wouldn't I want to hear? Take heed? Why would I want to hear? Hello? Mm -hmm. So he said, Why then will hear? And Jesus said, Take heed to what you hear. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. So if a person doesn't hear and increase their learning, and that's what we call a wise man, who would that fellow? Mm -hmm. A uh, fool doesn't want to hear. Yeah. And a fool does not want to increase learning. Amen. Amen. His knowledge of things. <clears throat> and a man of understanding should obtain under wise counsel. Will take heed. Will often pay attention to wise people. Counseling them. Amen. Who do you think you are? <laughs> hmm? I know y'all hadn't been exposed to none of that so far. Yeah, I, I've heard that stuff all my life. Mm -hmm. Stuff I got saved. Yeah, who you think you are trying to tell folks how to do things? Mm -hmm. I had to tell one guy. I had to tell one guy, I said, uh, I got my life together with my children. All right. I'm so glad I said that to him because he, he, he wouldn't got it together. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What if I'd been nice and just bit my tongue? The little cow like old church folks dropped my head and walked off, scared he might beat me up. But I didn't. Thank you, Lord. I said, I got my life together with my children. Amen. Amen. And evidently, it went, went straight to his heart because eventually he straightened up and got right with God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then it says, to understand a proverb and interpretation, the words of the wise and dog saints. Everybody want, I'm gonna say that everybody want to comment on what God said, say what they think God said, and they don't even know what they say. Okay. Just run off in the mouth. Mm -hmm. I've said uh, the multitude of words that lack of not sin, and a fool is known by the multitude of words. Amen. Just run off in the mouth, nothing in that's why. Mm -hmm. You know, strip the ashes, one of the saints of God, but you can see not the word of wisdom in the man's mouth depart from him. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. 
Had a guy try to tell me, I'm going to say it. If you marry and in a relationship with someone, hell, I feel you. If I mess around and miss for four, I want gentle for you because it's either way, it can go either way. Amen. So I have a preference that's where everybody understand, don't get caught up in some kind of uh, uh, offense that they got going on in their heart already. <laughs> Let's say you, 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 you're married, hello, somebody. And the time comes when your mate no longer wants to be with you. But they won't leave. But they do everything they're big enough to do, grown enough to do, to force you to leave. But you stay, or you say you love them. The script said, love seeks not his own. Amen. They don't want you. Amen. They through with you. They show you they don't want you. But they won't go do anything about it for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But you keep holding on. Now I'm gonna get so I'm gonna get graphic with it right now. Even tell you they sleep with another person. I mean have a sexual relationship with another person. And flaunt them before you. Some of us are being jaded. Because I'm not talking about the ones that are being jaded. I'm talking about the ones that want to stay and not leave because they say they love them. Mm -hmm. But this person assures you they don't want you. Mm -hmm. That the they do love in front of you. That they confess to you that they're in a sexual relationship with you. Mm -hmm. But you hold it on. Love seeks not at all. That's what the script says. I'm not talking about what I think how I feel. The script said, love seeks not at all. No. But lust is possessing. Lust. It is a strong desire to have. Love, I'm gonna tell y'all what love will love will leave you. Amen. 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 If you don't believe in that, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Love will give you over to your own devices. Yes, will. If you don't believe it, ask Jesus. Love will kick you out of the house. If you don't believe it, ask Jesus. Amen. Love will go so far to take a whip and drive you out of the house. Yes, sir. If you don't believe me, ask Jesus. Amen. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. Love will rebuke you openly if you don't believe it as Jesus. But yet people today want to interpret the word of God. Well, the word of God is not given to any private, that means individual interpretation. Holy men of old spoke as they were moved by inspired by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. It did not come in the old time by the will of men. Mm -hmm. So if the word did not come by the will of men, what man has a right to tell God what he meant? All right. But this is what God meant. No, mm -hmm. that's not what God said. Amen. Thank I asked the brother to search the scripture with me. I asked his daughter to search the scripture with me. And I'm gonna ask each and every one at the side of my voice search the scripture with me. Find, search for it, and let me know where you find it at. That God told us in the Bible to tell anyone he loved them. When you find it, please call me, write me, tell me about it. Because I'm going to see it. That where in the scripture did God tell us to tell folk that he loved them? Amen. Oh, it got quiet all over the place. Not just here, it got quiet all over the place. Right now. I can hear a pin dropping their horns. I want you to find it. I'm not telling you not in there. I didn't say that. I said, tell me where God told us to tell people that he loved them in the Bible. Thank you. Now, I know what we think and how we feel. I, I'm not talking about that now. I want you to tell me where it is. Where it is. I want the book, chapter, and verse. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, if we continue in his word, Amen. then I'll be a disciple of Jesus. Hello. And we shall know the truth, and the truth will make us free, right? Amen. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I'll not sin against thee. So that's why I want you to give me the word on it. Amen. Because I'm searching for it, and I've been asking people to help me find it. 
because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out where it is. Now, I'm not saying it's not it, I'm going to say it again. For the life of me, find out where it is. I've been studying, I mean, that don't mean I know it all, but that, I'm going to say it. If you look on the back of my car, I got a tag, and on that tag, one of my daughters had a maid. On, on the tag, it says, the, the, I'm the University of Christ for life. I'm in the University of Christ for life. That means I'm still learning. Amen. Still acquiring knowledge. Amen. Amen. For the wise man, we preach learning. So I'm still learning. So find that Amen. for me so that I can. <laughs> So you're not in there, don't backslide and go to hell. Because <laughs> God do love you. Amen. Right. But where did he tell us to go tell people that? Nope. He told us to go preach the gospel. <laughs> but let me keep on reading. <laughs> so he goes on to say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools. See, ever since I read that, it gripped me. It stayed in my spirit. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Knowledge. If you hate knowledge, there's something wrong with you. Amen. I mean, if you claim to be a child of God, you hate knowledge, there's something wrong with you. That's right. But if you see so many church folk, they don't want to go to the teaching ministry of the word. Thank you. They want to go where they hoop it and holler. Thank you. They don't even want to go where they preach it. They want to go where they hooping and howling. And I've been trying to explain to ministers across this, this state and everywhere I meet them at that that hooping and howling is exalting. That's not preaching. But fools. <laughs> Who despise wisdom and understanding? Instruction. Fools. Who, instruction is somebody showing you or telling you what to do. Mm -hmm. So who despise being instructed or uh, 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 admonished in what to do? Fools. Uh, fool. Amen. So if you have a hard time with people telling you what to do, don't ask anybody. <laughs> Go back and look in that mirror. Oh, no. And just don't forget who you are. Amen. <laughs> Thank the Lord Jesus. <laughs> in other words, you're a human being that, that can error and don't know everything. Amen. And that should wake you up to the point where you're willing to listen to right. wise instructions. Mm -hmm. So he said, my son, hear the instructions of your father. Yeah. And forsake not what? The law of your mother. Whether you wonder what's wrong with this generation, yeah, right there. highlight that verse. Yeah. Amen. Put it on a piece of paper. Every time you run upon somebody got that problem with this generation, God hand it to them. Say, you might need to follow this. Amen. 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 Now, if you look at them and say, your mother now don't know the truth. Come to me, I have you. They come to me, I have you. Then he say, for they shall be an ornament of grace under thy head, and chain about thy neck. What's the purpose of that? To keep you from the way of death, from the way of destruction, from the way of the evil one. Because you know what he's doing, right? Going about roaming around, looking for somebody to eat up. Father Paul said, we're not even concerned with divine. That's right. Amen. Amen. And then he tells us plainly in the sixth chapter book of Ephesians that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Amen. I'm going to sum it up in one word. So that's what people want to do now. We're wrestling against spiritual wickedness. Yes. Or two words. Spiritual wickedness. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. So if you if you are blind to the fact that there are evil spirits walking around here, mm -hmm. you won't be taking over anything. Amen. You know why? Because you're on the battlefield sweet. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. That's why God tells the watchman if he fails to warn the people, mm -hmm. then he will hold their blood accountable to his hand. Mm -hmm. yes. Y'all got what I'm saying? Because the watchman job is to warn the people about the war. Are they in? So he said, Temper, my son, if sinners, lawbreakers, entice thee, consent you not. Don't give in to them. Amen. You know what they call it in our generation? Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't give in to them. I'm for real. Amen. So many young kids have given in to that peer pressure yes, and violated their, their chastity. Mm -hmm. 
Did I get that right? Chastity. Amen. Because you're old fashioned, you square. You, 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 I don't know what it's called. You know, you know, they got a new terminology that I had. You can tell how far back I'm from. I'm, from, I'm a bit out of the loop. <laughs> Not quite out of the loop, but just don't keep up with them flames. The new ones. Amen. But can you imagine it? When it was a honor, a badge of honor, to be chased at one time. Now you go to school and you're the talk of the school because you're a virgin. Even, even when those big name or little name killers came along, people still pushing that line. Yes, Lord. Now, now the boys walking around bragging about how many babies they got until they end up in jail. You understand what I'm saying? But they didn't they didn't receive instructions. They didn't take heed to wise counsel. They thought because others were doing it, it was all right to do. My son and sinners entice you, consent you not. Can you imagine if every father, every mother would have raised their kids in Proverbs? How their children were turned out. Can you imagine that? Amen. But you know what people they come to the scripture, the word of God. And, and they come with a take of the leader mentality. No, these, these are not, these are not uh, if you choose to. These are the words of life. Amen. If you reject these, you choose them. Mm. Period. Mm -hmm. My son, if they entice you, don't give in, don't consent, don't go along with them. Amen. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us live privately for innocent without cause, people don't understand that's talking about gossip and hell there. If you hate your brother without a call, you are a murderer. Thus say y'all. Right. You are a murderer. Yes. And you can't tell me you love your brother and sister. You're going around trying to destroy their reputation. Amen. And any preacher, any whoever tell you that's all right, run. That's a wolf in sheep clothing trying to entice you mm -hmm. to sin against God. The Bible said, do not go up and down amongst the brethren as a tail bearer. Hello? Amen. Let it not, not one of you known as a backbite. Amen. Hello? But yet we want to, we want to, we want to, you know, this generation rewrite the script yeah. and go along and get along. Mm. Afraid to tell the truth. Amen. People are dying because of the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. They're being destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Their homes are division because of the lack of knowledge. The nation is in destruction and, and calamity, calamity and woe because of the lack of knowledge. Amen. When you got a government supporting chaos and confusion and yes. rising in the street, mm. you got a problem. That's yes. right. Amen. You got a serious problem. And then when you got people that want to vote for them kind of people, mm. oh, it's over. Mm. Right. Just put, turn out the lights. Yes. Yep. The party is over. Mm -hmm. All that lack of days of living that people been living all these years and let this mess slip in. Gee. All evil has to do to prosper. Mm -hmm. It's for the church to set they but in the four wall and not do anything. <laughs> That's, That's all evil has to do to prosper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us swallow them up alive at the grave. And all that those that go down into the pit. That's what's going on right now, but we're not going to get too deep into it. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. When did the innocent become a spoil? When, when the wicked rule. When the wicked is in authority, that's when the innocent becomes prey. What has happened in America? The weak are the authority. And the innocent citizens have become prey. Right now, children are living under the dread of the dragon. Amen. And in some municipalities, they're trying to pass a law to make it illegal for the, the parents to pull their children out of there. In a day that I lived in, it would be chaos. Amen. Blood will run 
in the streets. Amen. Because parents were never allowed. Amen. That's right. School teachers, presidents of schools and colleges will all be laying in their own blood. Amen. Amen. They were never allowed. <clears throat> but now when parents are throw their own children on the altar of politics mm. and watch them be slaughtered. No. That's no. wrath coming. No. It already came through one time with COVID. But when this comes through, it's going to be fire. Yes, Lord. You hear me? Remember when Corin Dathan stood up against Moses and, 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 left, and the earth opened up? Mark, mark, mark my words. Mark my words. Yes, Lying down with the calendar. Asking for it, they go get it. Amen. They're messing with my babies, says the Lord. Amen. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> they want to take the spoil from innocent. Cast in thy lot among us. That's what they be trying to tell them. Let us all have one purpose. If you wonder why a lot of them selling out, there it is right there. Yeah. The, I told you this stuff jumped out at me. There's a revelation right there why a lot of these people are compromised and going along. Because they're offering them something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that little bird was in the camp. <laughs> My son, walk not. I encourage you, saints, don't buy that. Amen. Walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain your foot from their back. That's right. Do not follow this agenda. Amen. For they feed from the evil and they make haste to shed, and I'm not even gonna say blood, it's an innocent blood. Yes. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. So I am enlightened and illuminating your eyes. Mm -hmm. So that the net they're trying to lay for you is in your sight. Mm -hmm. So if you walk in, okay. you are complicit. You right. want to go along with it. Amen. Don't get along. But I'm warning you. Do not believe the high and the light. Amen. Amen. And they that they they wait for their own blue. Mm. They look privately for their own lives. Mm. Why? Because they're the God. Mm -hmm. Who the judge. Mm -hmm. I got one on there. There's a God <laughs> who is a judge of the living and the dead, mm -hmm. and he's on his way. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So let's read on a little bit more. I'm quick. We're going to go into my lesson. So are the ways of everyone. Boy, that we start grabbing me out there. That's another we start grabbing me. That wrestle me down. That's why a lot of the the, the watchmen have compromised mm -hmm. yeah. and refused to sound the trumpet. Mm -hmm. I'm reading it to you. Watch this, watch this, watch Somebody said, What do you do? I'll prophesy. And y'all don't know I'll prophesy, but I'll prophesy. Mm -hmm. I told you God to like these things to me today. Mm -hmm. But why don't you speak plain? I will in due season. You watch. But when I do stuff, we'll stop following on. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which take away the life of the owners thereof. Mm -hmm. That gain takes away their life. Mm -hmm. They become obsessed. Yeah. And then they say, don't get obsessed with things. Your life does not consist of the things which you possess. Amen. Amen. Say, so, amen. Amen. I want to go back to Romans, the 10th chapter. And may God bless you and grant you revelation in what we talk about and what we're about to talk about in Jesus' name. Because I had to say it in a allegory, a parable type way. Amen. Romans, the 10th chapter. Now, what I'm about to say. It's for those that have been up under the word, and especially about me, yeah. for a minute or two. Thank you, Lord. Because it's going to be powerful, mm -hmm. but it's going to be simple. The Apostle Paul said, but what said the eighth verse? The word is nigh thee, even in your mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. That if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, 
and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now turn with me quickly to Colossians, the first chapter. I want to show you something. You can't give God a wee walk. All right. My God. Hallelujah. Powerful. Yes. Powerful. 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 Chief of the living. Thank you. One, one, one of the things I, I want to say is that there's no. I'm going to say it plain now. I'm going to read the little teacher. There is no one at this point. That is above Christ. The 15th verse says, Who is the enemy of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven. That's what I want you to say, Father. Right now, the Father delivered all authority in heaven and earth. And beneath there to the sun. Thank you. For by him all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. The world you can see and the world you can't see. The heavens above you and on earth. Right? Amen. Whether it be principalities, excuse me, I miss something. Whether it be thrones, or the midst, or principalities, or power, I don't care what monarch, what ruler. Hello, somebody. Amen. What king, what president, what prime minister you ever think about? Christ is over oh. all of them. Amen. I don't care what power that is operating in them or behind them. Jesus is over all of them. Amen. Now, you see the body, you see the ruler standing there, but there's a power, a principality, a power behind him. But Jesus is over that ruler, Amen. he's over the principality and power that's behind him. Amen. <laughs> now, I'm off right now, but I just have to say, why are we yeah. servants of the Most High God, mm. members of Jesus' body, uh, are afraid? The devil is alive. My God. Let me move on. People get it in a minute. You get it in a minute. And then he goes on to say, uh, a principle about all things were created <laughs> by him and for him. Woo! He made them, and they are made for him. Amen. Hmm. Now, I can make it simple. His word has absolute authority over them. Amen. Now, I can say all the time that the devil, run up on this. Amen. Amen. Woo! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Now, 70 verse 8, and he is before all things. <laughs> That means he was before anything that is, he was before them. Amen. And by him all things consist or exist. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. That Jesus created all things. He's above all things. Whether it be visible, invisible, put around the power, the the might, throne, or whatever, he created it all. Amen. And it's created for him and by him. They do consist or have their existence. But I'm about to tell you this so powerful. Oh, I've shared it years ago. I shared it once, very few since then, because people couldn't get it. Reality is reality because of Jesus, the glue that holds it together. And if he wants to, he'll withdraw himself. Thanks. All right. And that reality that you look at it will cease. Amen. That even exists. Yeah. That's the Lord. That's the God we serve. Amen. And we call Satan. And you're afraid. How? How? Never read on the Bible. Because you're going to see this in a minute. You're going to see it in a minute. And he is the head of the body, come. And then Paul tells him, the church. Amen. So if he's above it all, mm -hmm. 
I refuse to say you know, mm. I'm gonna follow my father. That's right. I'm not gonna keep him from getting this. Mm. I cast down that Jezebel spirit. Amen. And I loose you now. And I command that temple and that will to dissolve. I unravel it now, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. He is the head of the body, the church. So now, let me ask you something. Get it in, think about this, put it in your reasoning capacity. Can your head do anything without your body? Can your head go anywhere without your body? Mm -hmm. Can your head accomplish anything without your body? Mm -hmm. So if your head wants to get something done, it needs the body, right? That's mm -hmm. right. And if the body don't cooperate, mm -hmm. what does the head do? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody hollers. Mm -hmm. So if you wonder why God's not moving in your life, you the body and you not cooperate with the head. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The head can't do anything without the body. Amen. So the body must cooperate with the head in order for things to get done. Amen. I can sit there all evening, go home a sink full of dishes. I can sit there all evening wishing that that sink would put in my head. <laughs> Thinking about the dishes being washed and put away. But until my body cooperates with my head, Amen. them dishes are not going anywhere. Ah! Hey. Hey. I was in a restaurant and the lady didn't even give me time, but I'm glad she said it because it's been undeniably written in my consciousness and my subconscious well. I was getting a plug <coughs> and another glove fell, fell in the floor. She didn't even give me time. I'm getting to here. I'm getting, you know. She ain't even give me time to bend over pick it up. <laughs> she looked at me, told me it ain't going to pick itself up. <laughs> <laughs> so it was in my mind to pick it up. Uh -huh. but, it, but I wasn't moving fast enough for her. My body was going to cooperate. Gonna the signal was coming from the head. Thank you. It was before it could get to the body. She done already stepped in and said, it's not going to pick itself up. Uh -huh. <laughs> he cried about God this and God that and why this and why that but him Amen. so he's the master that he tells us what to do Amen. and we do Amen. he said let's go and we go he said let's come and we come Amen. now we tell him to go when he go God go down to the hospital house I want you to stop being in and visit with so and so on. You didn't get delivered. He told you to go. Stop by the prison house and stop by every cell. Oh God. Oh God. I want you to stop by here while you're stopping by. And lay your hand on me. When did the body tell the head what to do? The head tells the body what to do. Amen. But for hundreds and maybe thousands of years in a lot of meeting houses, the pastors and preachers and overseers that taught the congregation that God will do this and God will do that. God this and God that. No, God told you to go. Cast out demons. Amen. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. Didn't he say? Amen. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked. Chapter the homeless. That's what God said. Amen. But ever since God said it, we've been telling God to do it. Amen. When God win. Win. Win, 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 win. Oh, Lord. Please, Jesus. When you're passing by, uh, stop by and visit with me a little while. Oh, God. Yeah, when you're passing our blessing, don't forget about me. <laughs> and they, I mean, they packed those churches out. Yes. 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 And it's not working. Nope. Yeah. And people are falling in this path. The home the tour. The lives are tour. Yeah. Waiting on God. I'm waiting on God. Mm. Mm. But God already sat down. So you must have missed him. Amen. Mm. Mm -hmm. He didn't come and gone. Amen. What you mean? You missed your package. Because the deliverer done come and gone. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sitting down on the right hand of the Father. 
-hmm. And you don't sit down to work. It is finished. Amen. But that's what they've been taught. That's what they've been brainwashed to believe. And so they've been sitting around waiting on God to deliver them from the wicked. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you. Everybody turn into each other with the man. Yeah. Holy Ghost is trying to connect up some stuff with you. Mm -hmm. The 18th chapter and the 18th verse says, Verily I say unto you. Listen to the church. Just read back one verse. You know. Amen. Whatsoever you bind on earth. You know what bind means? The forbid. Mm -hmm. Shall be bound in heaven. Mm -hmm. and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You know loose means to lie. lie. So God was telling, Jesus was telling us that if we, we are allowed to go on on earth, God will allow. God will lie. If we forbid it to go on, yep. God will forbid it to go on. Mm -hmm. So all this mess going on in people's lives that claim to be God's children, they are lying. They are lying. Mm -hmm. Paul picked it up so good, he said, give the devil no, no place. place. Mm -hmm. So the devil, oh, the devil give me a hard time. You lying. The devil on my back. Lying. I've been running from the devil all week. No, you're running the wrong way. Amen. You need to turn around. Amen. He's supposed to be running from you. Amen. Submit yourself unto God Amen. and he and resist him, and he will flee run from you. Amen. That's what God said. Amen. So why ain't he running from it, Pastor? You reject God. Amen. You didn't take heed to wise counsel. You would listen to fools. Amen. Well, Filling your head up with magic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This don't work by no magic. It works by faith. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Faith without works is dead. You're not doing anything, acting on what God said, doing what God said, do. Your faith is dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, I give you the key. Mm -hmm. I give you the authority. Mm -hmm. I give you the right Thank to you. allow and disallow. Amen. <laughs> if you allow, I'm going to allow. If you disallow, I disallow. Amen. Thank you. You stand against it, I stand against Thank it. You. If you go along with it, I go along with it. Mm -hmm. But you wonder why all this garbage going on? Mm -hmm. Don't look to the center. Mm -hmm. They don't have the authority. Amen. Find your beautiful mirror and look at it and turn the lights on. Mm -hmm. So you can see where the culprit is. Amen. Because mm -hmm. I tried it didn't work. You don't try this. You either do or you don't. Amen. He said, submit to him and resist to submit. That's the part that they miss, ain't it? Amen. You never say submit. You know what submit means? Amen. Bring yourself under subjection to well, another. Well. So if I bring myself under subjection to God, that means I'm submitted to what God says. Amen. Right? Amen. If you be willing and obedient. Amen. Right? Right? Amen. He said, rebel and refuse, you be devoured by the soul. Lord. But if you put it in obedience, you need to go to the lane. Amen. So I, I don't need to try to figure that one out. If I'm submitted to God, I mean I'm submitted to what he's saying. Amen. So what did he say? Resist the devil. Resist it. So I ain't got to work by him for you. Amen. I just do the resisting. Amen. Now if he don't flee, that means I ain't right with God. Woo! So what you don't do about that, right? Yes. Get right, right quick. Get straight, right quick. They're resisting. Amen. 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 Don't let it find nothing on, 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 the, on the book. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. Woo! You the head. Call the part of the head, right? Mm -hmm. If you the head, you the body. And the body don't do anything. I mean, the head don't do anything Hello, somebody. Oh. without the body. Mm -hmm. And the body don't do anything without the head. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why you ain't running now? Thank you, Chief. You, you, can, you, see, you gotta be. I'm not saying it's anybody. It's just a cliche. It's something I'm throwing out there. You got to be dead, deaf, blind, and dumb. Not to understand what I just said. Amen. <laughs> now, the problem is, do you want to accept it? Don't ever tell them, I don't know what he's talking about. You're lying. No, you're exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you just don't want to do what it takes. Amen. So just tell the truth. 
Somebody said, well, it really ain't like that. What Bible you read? Let's go to Mark 16, chapter. What Bible you read? Or what preacher you listen to? I ain't trying to put down no preacher, but some of them, they ain't God preachers. Amen. They're false prophets, false teachers, false apostles. That's the criteria you got to meet in order to be an apostle. Amen. Yeah, a lot of people run around here talking to the apostles and they ain't seen the Lord. Amen. <laughs> now, if you're an apostle based on the world's criteria, which is the dictionary, then that means you're a sick one. So an organization can send you, hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. If they and their mama can send you, then you're based on that, you're an apostle. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about your apostle of the Lord, you got to have seen the Lord. Mm -hmm. He put in the church apostle. So if God himself didn't appear to you and tell you if Jesus didn't appear to you and tell you the apostle, you forget that. Amen. You just all that is, you know what it is, right? Pride. Exalt yourself. And get what he said if you exalt yourself. Ooh, you shall be amazed. That's amazing, yeah. Priests better be very careful when they start promoting themselves. Yeah, the Holy Spirit grow before uh -huh. the fall. Uh-huh. And pride before what? Right. Destruction. Mm -hmm. Exalt yourself. And the devil, I never been nobody to call me a, a, a nor me to be no apostle. The devil is all right. Amen. <laughs> if he got Jesus called me to be an apostle, I don't need no recognition from no man. Amen. You got what I'm saying? Let me tell you, let me, let me share this with y'all. So you understand what the, what the requirements are. So y'all know what an apostle is. I don't even know why I'm on this. I'm going to be listening. <laughs> you first got to have seen the Lord. Right? Right. Two, this is what I'm saying. All nine gifts have got to operate in your life. Oh, man. Now, I've seen some gifts operating, some people. I've seen powerful gifts operating in life, but I ain't seen the work of miracles. Amen. Mm. See, a healing is not a miracle unless something was missing yeah. and God replaced it. Amen. Replaced it. That's when it's a miracle. Yes. Now, three, y'all wait a minute. Y'all stay with me. The third thing you got to establish some works. Not you went out and started another church. Amen. You got to have ministers under you Amen. that are pastoring churches. Amen. And all been apostles. Are you open? You go home. But how many people y'all like that? Not too many, right? Amen. But yet they want to be recognized, and they everywhere. Possibly, this, possibly. Man. I could name a couple more, but I'm not. That's enough. The three right there, most of them have been on already. Yep. Ain't pastor. Ain't established no church, no works, but then apostles. Mm -hmm. Hadn't seen the Lord Jesus, but then apostles. Mm -hmm. The nine, all nine kids don't operate in their lives, but mm -hmm. they're apostles. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Now, let me say this to you, and I'm not bragging to most of but most people that know me, walk me, spend some time with me, know some things about me, they know everything about saying the truth. I've Amen. seen the Lord Jesus. That's right. All nine of gifts have operated in my life. Mm -hmm. And still do. Amen. I've established works. Amen. But some of the doors are passion too. Amen. Right. And I probably meet the other two, but I'm not going to deal with y'all. It's such a Paul right in your family. Mm -hmm. But the, the bad thing about that is, why, why don't you say you're an apostle? Get work. He didn't tell me I was no apostle. Glory. Now, now I've had listen, I've had apostles call me apostle. Uh -huh. I've had prophets call me apostle. Uh -huh. But they're not Jesus. Amen. But well, maybe Jesus is talking through them. Well, I'm gonna ask y'all something. How can I be an apostle of the Lord and I can't hear you? Come on. That's one of the gifts of the Spirit. <laughs> so I ought to be able to hear it. Y'all got what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to move back to 16 chapter from the mark. We're going to read that 17 verse. And, and these signs shall follow them that what? Believe. Now, the Bible calls us believers. Every born again child of God is called a believer, right? So these signs shall, what's the first sign they're going to follow the believers? In the name of the Lord, the name of Jesus, they're going to cast out devils. Mm. So why are we afraid of the devil? Mm. Why are we bound down to someone that's supposed to be under our foot? Cast them out. In Tim chapter book of Luke, the 19th verse, for the boys even got born again. He said, behold, I give you power to tread on serpents 
That means walk on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Yeah. I had a vision one day. And I don't know if that vision pertained to here or not. I don't know. I'm still seeking God about it. Because it could be because it just popped up in my spirit just now that that might be what God was showing me. I had a vision that I was in an established church and it was getting run down. And I looked across the field and there was another church. And I started across the field to the other church. But on the way, there were all kinds of serpents and all kinds of, you know, scorpions mm -hmm. and stuff on the ground. But I was just a scorpion. <laughs> going across there, stepping on them. To get to that other place. Sounds kind of familiar. Yeah, the thing's trying to block me. Mm -hmm. Trying to hit me. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't lose that walk. I walked. I, God oh, took me across that field, stepping on their heads. Because <laughs> he gave me power to tread on them. Yes, Why? Not as because I'm something special, but because I'm what? Believer. Believer. So every believer has the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy. And watch this. Maybe because you're not uh, 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 taking heed to wise counsel. You know, maybe you're void of understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So if you are afraid, it might be because you don't fear the Lord. Amen. See, I'm not, I said this. I said this back a, a, a couple services ago. I said, you know, the Bible said that I'm with you <laughs> always. Mm -hmm. Remember, great that God, Jesus said, "I'm with you always, always, to the end of the earth." So when when you're out there dealing with stuff, mm. who with you? Jesus. So I, I need to turn on God. So God's with you. When you're out there dealing with stuff. Yeah. Now ask yourself just how much you believe that he's God. <laughs> and what do you think God is? Because yeah. he evidently, if you're scared, you yeah. can't think much of him. Because he's with you. Yeah. God's got your back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Woo! Thank you, Lord. You don't need nobody else. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. My father, God, told me that I and God were the majority. Mm -hmm. When I was young and, you know, easy spook, I didn't understand that. But after a couple of years, mm -hmm. it dawned on me. And, you know, I don't need a crowd. Amen. God don't look like many of you. God don't need a crowd. You don't need that. You got what I'm saying? God don't need no crowd. Because mm -hmm. he got all by himself. Woo! When, when he looked for a man, he couldn't find one. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to save us. He said he rolled himself in blood and brought salvation with his own. Mm -hmm. And then he said the bulls of Bashan and all the rest of them couldn't bash him round about. He was surrounded by demons. Yes. But then the word of God said in Colossians, Paul got happy. He spoiled Prince of Paul. And power. You know, sport, that's an old word we don't use anymore. It means strip something of anything of value. He didn't just whip them. Strip. He made them He didn't just whip them. He made them low. Glory. Don't think he just whipped the devil. He didn't just whip the devil. He stripped him of anything of value. He brought him to die. Put him to an open shame. He ain't who he used to be. He and he don't have what he used to have. Amen. He's just a big old blood. You think he can do what he be telling you, but he can't do it. Now, rather than if we won't skip that, I want to take you about your authority, but I'm, I'm going to skip that. It's getting a little late. I've got to get this in your hand tonight. At the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Isn't that right? Amen. In the sixth chapter of Second First Corinthians, I'm gonna go find that first right quick. I thought I was gonna put it slipped my mind right quick. The sixth chapter. Seventeen verses. When you're joined to the Lord, when you get saved, you're born again, you're placed in the body of Christ, you're in the Lord of one spirit. Y'all getting it? You're in the Lord of one spirit. Am I right? Amen. Are y'all getting this? Thank you, Lord. Fifth chapter, book of Ephesians. So your spirit of his spirit, that's what that 17 verse is. Mm -hmm. Y'all got it? Amen. So spirit of his spirit, what that mean? Whatever he is, that's what you call Amen. So you know man of the spirit and possess the soul living in the body. Y'all got it? Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Woo! Lord, I thank you. 
Lord Jesus, I'm, I'm gonna read. I, I was gonna just read that verse, but I'm gonna read so y'all catch up. Y'all catch this thing. So I'm gonna read 24 verse. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands and everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church. But you know, you know, counseling that bachelor counseling for. Mm -hmm. Always talking about me and my wife are one, so she's a pastor. Now that ain't how you get to be a pastor, because you married a pastor. Yeah. Jesus plays in the church pastor. Yeah. 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 That's big time there. Yeah. They don't they don't buy it because they married their pastor or pastor. Nope. So he said that, that, that he might sanctify it and cleanse it for the washing water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church. Mm -hmm. uh, not having spot or wrinkle, or any such thing, but that it should be holy without blemish, right? Mm -hmm. So ought men to love their wives at their own body, that way they he that loves his wife loves it himself, right? Right? Amen. No man ever gets hated on flesh, but nurses and cherishes, even as the Lord, the church. Amen. See, I, I'm holding because this ain't taking one hollow right here. For we are members mm -hmm. of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Mm -hmm. I am spirit of his spirit. Uh, Amen. Flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. Amen. So what that make me? Wall and wall. Wall and wall. That make me him. Mm -hmm. And he is me. Amen. But we are one. Amen. So why would I be afraid? Because I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. You know why you can't get that? Because you never got the sense of the middle of the word. As newborn babies to cry, desire the sense of the middle of the word, you may go there. Right? You've been hearing blue John. Mm -hmm. They hear religious jogging, religious sayings. You've not been hearing the word of God. They can't get y'all away from There's some awesome happening here. And I'll throughout the throughout meeting. Hallelujah. You wouldn't hear the word of God. The word is life. Hallelujah. Spirit and life. You've been hearing the word of God. You know where I'm at right now. He baptized us by his spirit in one body. We were made to drink in one body by one spirit. The scripture says he did it join the Lord in one spirit. Then it tells the right that we're his bones. Amen. The spirit that's emanating this thing is his spirit. Amen. So if I'm spirit of his spirit, bone and bone, flesh of his flesh, if I say what he said, who said it? He is. Glory be thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you. Woo, Lord. Thank you. And when God speaks, who can refuse to obey? Amen. <laughs> and if they do, at their own detriment. Amen. Can you see this thing? Jesus. You need to meditate on this. Somebody said, why are you teaching on this the whole thing? No, why did you give that prophecy? And give you that revelation knowledge at the beginning. But ain't no time for us to be playing around. I ain't tell you. It's, 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 time, it's time now to embrace the whole word of God and stop trying to hold on to religion. We didn't get saved to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. If that was what God intended, He would have took you there when you got born. Uh, he wanted you to occupy. You know, occupy means take control, take control. and rule over. Occupy don't mean go just exist. No, no. Keep things in order. Find your little corner yeah. and hide in your little corner and have your little service. That was what He was talking about. Occupy means to take control, take over, Amen. to rule mm -hmm. and reign. And the reason why we couldn't do it because we had too many people fighting us with that religion. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching and preaching this ever since the day I hit the hit the I hit the page, man. From I said, well, a lot of folks been saved, a lot of folks been saved, a lot of folks been ministry preaching, a lot of folks have the church. But they playing with this thing. Amen. And they playing with it because they looking at them other folks want Moses. Let me ask y'all something. Was Israel mm. God's people? Mm. Wasn't Israel God's chosen people? Yes. Yes. Wasn't Israel God's yes. chosen people? Yes. The man of God got called to a meeting with God, mm. who was the head of the, the church. Mm -hmm. He went to the meeting, and while he was at the meeting, what did the people of God do? Go crazy. <laughs> they changed their God. Amen. He said, Can a leopard change his spots? A zebra his stripes? But my people have changed their God. Mm -hmm. But that which you know God, but that which can't hold anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what a lot of folk have done. Yep. And accepted that it. Oh, I ain't satisfied. Mm -hmm. 
that the God that answers the miracles and, and deliverances and healing, that the God that answers the provision be God. But let that other thing be whatever he is. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to serve the one that answers. Amen. Lord, let us pray. Father, we're so grateful. We're so thankful for the revelation you've given me and given your people tonight. Thank you. That you spoke to their hearts. It's a new day. The day that the saints of God should rise and be the sons of God. And those that have been left behind because they did not hear the truth, that their eyes are coming open now, their ears are coming unstopped, and they will hear the truth, and they'll go faster than those that heard it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because they take it serious. Right. Because you say it. And they know if you say it, it is so. We praise you for the prince says arise. The princesses arise. Sons and daughters of the kingdom. Yes. And operating, acting like sons and daughters of the most high God. Decreeing and declaring. Mm. Commanding these things, forbidding stuff to go on that's going on. And in the name of Jesus, and the Korean and the the revival in the room of your spirit. To turn neighborhoods and cities and counties and states around. So there'll be strongholds for Christ in this nation. That though calamity may be falling in many places, but that area will be covered by the blood. And it will not come near there. Yes. Because the men and women of God are standing yes. up. And proclaiming who they are in Christ. Yes. We give you all the praise Jesus. and glory that even now while I'm speaking, it's catching mm. fire. It's catching fire. It's catching fire. Thank all you, the Lord. Men and women everywhere right now. And they're going to take heed to the word. You know that you are the God everlasting. And Jesus is our Lord. And he is the head of his army. So you be all the praise. Yes, Lord. And you're sure. Jesus the name of the name. Then one said, Amen. amen. And amen, amen again. Look at the name and say, Take heed. The wise counsel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thank God for that revelation. It's been burning in my spirit for years now. Amen. Amen. I think it's that hour. Amen. For the come home. So I'm expecting great things. Great things. Great things. Great mighty things. Thank God all those in my way, Facebook and YouTube. Stay tuned. Take heed. Get act on the word of God. Stop trying to be like a trick for <laughs> Get your mind and eyes off that old church. Oh, oh, oh. But that stuff that they've been putting in your mind is not God. Amen. Let's get to the word of God. Let's get to the man. <coughs> you want to find out how it works? Amen. You got to work it according to the man. Amen. Amen. Be the man and they tell you exactly how it works. Amen. You don't have to be in this dog. Take go by the word for it. Just go to the man. Amen. Amen. And I promise you, you will find me there. Amen. You don't know where I'm at, go to the bank. You'll see me in there. Mm -hmm. Don't get scared. Because <laughs> that's what we all supposed to be. God bless you. Have a smile. Everybody happy to see you. Saturday. Amen. Amen. So, Father.